All right, so I'm taking this uh, body fillers, 14 ounce. So 48. These spatulas here. It's an empty parking lot. Why you decide to park next to mine? That's all I'm saying. Some materials. Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be working on this Jeep. I don't know exactly what year it is. I know it's a Jeep, uh, Jeep Cherokee. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing with this Jeep is just fixing out some rust spots like these. Fixing out some spots. Right here. All around the windshield right here. I'm just going to strip the paint off because it has some of these bubbly paint, some rust underneath. So I'm going to try to fix that. Um, throughout the whole body, it doesn't have as much. Maybe a little bit of bubbly paint right here. The paint is not the greatest either. Um, this, as I was uh, sanding down, check it out right here. As I was sanding down, it has the white paint. It has this cream paint and then it also has that maroon i don't know if that's like a red oxide primer or if that's a color for the jeep but i'm gonna fix all these little um little spots that need work on and i'm going to be applying some body filler maybe some evercoat just sand it down just prime it that's all i'm gonna do just prime so okay so some of the stuff that i'm gonna be using uh, these, these are to strip down paint. This is a one inch thick. Some right here that I already uh, used. So I'm gonna start with those. Um, the spatulas and some sandpaper. First off, I'm just gonna do a real quick walk around to show the, the damage areas. Alright, so it's gonna be the first start in I don't know how long. I've sort of been giving it the cold shoulder. It's been like three times already that it broke a ball joint, so. Check that out. Pop the ball joint. Alright, here. Check that out. That's the lower control arm, and the ball joint came out of the socket. know what happened piece of shit I haven't been wanting to use it today well I've been working on that Jeep just doing some body work but 
I want to put the Jeep inside here. So I can work on it under the shed. Um, let's just hope this one still has battery. No, nothing. Not to jump start it. Some of the hives bees like to do right here. Made out of mud. There's another one right there. Shit. Look, there's a bee. <laughs> Let me just check the fluids before I start her up. Um, this is the oil. This one's good. It's uh, full. Sh fucking wobbly as fuck. Alright, so this one I'm just going to put it on a slow charge. Um, this is a new battery. I just bought it. Um, I'm sure there's a video where I installed this battery. It's been a couple months, but since I haven't used it, something to discharge the battery. And, uh, anyways, so I'm just going to let it like that. Let it charge for a little bit. It's leaking some oil over there in the bottom. So this one, yeah, it's pretty empty. How uh, it circulates the same oil from the power steering, so it used to leak it from over there, from behind the master cylinder. It used to leak it, like through over there, but now I think right here on the gearbox, that's where I have the leak now. So if it's not one thing, it's another. But yeah, uh, I think it's about time I start fixing this one. I mean, I'm I'm thinking of getting rid of the car, just using the money towards fixing this one. I mean, it's not that bad. Right now, like I said, the AC, the AC on this truck isn't working right now. Although the the AC compressor, which is somewhere down there, the AC compressor is brand new, as well as that um, this dryer, and I think a filter that goes in here. So I put new o uh, the O rings as well, but for some reason it just doesn't want to work. Like I ha I haven't. Replace the condenser. That's probably one of my next things that I should replace. But I'm also thinking this line right here because this valve. Um, one time I tried. I don't know if tightening it or l taking it off, and the thing was just spinning, and it didn't want to come off or tighten or whatever. So I didn't even check if it was leaking or not. But I noticed that. So I'm thinking just. Uh, replacing this little piece right here put some new o-rings and a new cap just uh, fill it and we'll see we'll see how it goes on that one I mean I have the um, I have the thing to vacuum out the line I have the um, the red yellow and blue thing to charge the Freon so I mean all I need is just to detect the leak and you know fill it up with charge again um, right now, I don't even know if this thing is charging or not. Select position, rapid charge, or engine start. I think they didn't move very little bit. Let's just do a rapid charge. Let me see if it's charging. Well, the light is on. Shall we try it? No, I don't think it's charging. That's a relay. It needs more charge. Right, so these cables right here, I know it says when you're jump starting a vehicle, you want to put your ground right here and the positive on that screw right there. I don't know if it's the same thing for charging it. Right now I have it on the battery. So, I mean, it is sparking. I just heard it, but. We're just gonna put it right there. And just leave it charging. Probably just gonna leave it charging like a rapid charge. Not an engine start, just a rapid charge. I'm gonna leave it like 20 minutes. So, 
and then I'll come try it again. All right, so here we go. First start in over six months. Let's see how she does. I expect to hear some lifters ticking uh, because the oil is just completely drained down to the pan. Uh, maybe it's out of uh, power steering fluid, so I expect to hear the power steering pump whining. Uh, I don't know what else, but let's hope for the best. Here we go. All right. That wasn't too bad, not too shabby. That's not a tick. Uh, that's uh, an exhaust leak. So I need to get my exhaust done. Look at that beehive. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, so I mean, the truck started pretty good. It has been a couple months that I actually started it. Uh, taking it out into the street, that's another couple more months. So. Yeah, I've been giving it the cold shoulder because of the suspension issues that I've been having. But I think it's about time I just fix those. Like, so. So for right now, I'm going to take it out because, yeah, I don't have any radiator fans. So before it overheats or anything, I'm going to trim this off actually. So I'm going to take this truck out. So I think these tires scrape whenever I turn. They're rubbing right there. So I need to make this sharp turn right here. Um, uh, I don't even want to put the wipers on. Here we go. Oh, there's that power steering. Did you hear it? There it is. Oh, shit. Oh, let's go. I just stepped on something. Fucking shit. <laughs> Alright, so let's keep going. Ah, oh, that's a tire. For now, I'm going to straighten out the wheel. There you go. Damn, that was hot, bro. I didn't even bother opening the windows. Let's check this truck out. Ah, that rooster. Fuck, this truck is beautiful. So I mean just a small walk around the truck as it sits right now. I mean the paint is still pretty good. It's just dirty. Um All right, so right now, one of the reasons that I'm not using the truck, I mean, I could just like tighten up the torsion bar. It's just to li lift up the suspension on the front, just to level it out. But also, I just need to get the uh, the inspection renewed 
so I can get the tags up to date as well. Uh, these are a couple months, you know, past due. So once I get those tags, I'll probably start driving this truck as my daily. I'm probably going to get rid of the car over there. Yes, those are some old ass mattresses. Um, truck is like super dirty. It does need some um, TLC, some uh, little love, you know. So that's definitely what I want to try to do. Uh, once I finish painting the car, this is probably going to be my continuance <laughs> project. Because uh, I wanted to do the flip kit in the back and do the smaller tires, but you know, I've been so busy with something else, and you know, I never have time for my truck. So there's my Vexie.